welcome to my channel. This is Dawn with Pink Chair Gaming and this is the Island of Rosewood. So in my last video I had done a really quick uh, tour um, of what I've accomplished on my island so far and a lot of you asked about how I built my castle. So today I'm going to show you what all I did. Alright, so this is the area where my castle is going to go. Um, and I'm going to start from the back and work my way forward. Um, hopefully I made really good notes on what I did because it took me a really long time to get this figured out. But without further ado, let's get started. Before I could start placing my castle walls, I had to go ahead and add another layer of ground so I had some room to move around and then I will take it out once I'm done. When I first started um, creating my castle, it went through a lot of iterations. Um, I tried to make it so that you could walk through all of it. Um, I debated whether it should be two or three levels, just all kinds of stuff. And I ended up with this idea where the back of it is literally just a wall. That was the best way to make the illusion work from the ground. Um, so yeah, that was what I ended up doing and I had a little bit of trouble getting this first one started because I had to add that layer because the walls themselves are centered in between the towers and it made it a little difficult. But now I'll go ahead and take out this extra wall that I had to do and then we'll work on the middle layer. The middle layer is the only layer that has enough room you can actually place items. And again, I had fun figuring out just how deep to make it so the illusion worked from the ground. I wanted to use castle walls on the outside, but they just didn't look quite right. So I ended up just using two castle towers in front of each other to get the correct depth that I needed. When I originally worked on this section, the walls in front of the stairs were in line with the castle gates. However, from the front, I felt like it needed something right in front of the stairs, so I ended up pushing those walls all the way back against the cliff and putting some hedges in front of it. And from the outside of the castle, you can't even tell that they're not even with the other walls. To add a little bit more depth to this layer from the front, I added the marketplace banners and the ruined pillars so they poke above the walls um, from the bottom layer when you're looking up at it. And I'm really happy with how the illusion turned out. When I was originally planning the castle, I couldn't decide if I wanted you to be able to walk through it or not. And because there really isn't a lot of space in that middle layer, I ended up just blocking it off of the fence so that you couldn't go into it. And now that I have the walls complete, we'll finish it off by adding some plate armor and evergreen ashes to the front. Okay, that is it. That's literally all there is to this. Um, I'm really excited with how this turned out. Um, as I said, I have gone through a lot of iterations of this to get it to where I wanted it, but I am very, very happy with how it turned out. And I'll give you all a quick look here um, in case you're interested in doing it yourself. All right, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.